Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country, and today I'm working on a essential oil shelf, a little 18 or 19 inch essential oil shelf. It's two inches deep and 19 inches long. So I thought I would just kind of show you what I got going on here, maybe give you all some ideas on uh, what you can do to make a little shelf and organize your essential oil. So here's the shelf that the uh, essential oils are actually going to sit on. It's going to be actually on the inside when I'm finished making this. It's going to be two inches. And this is going to be the back. And it's going to sit on there like, like this. So this will be adhered to the back side of the shelf. Now these little guys right here, these are the side these are the sides of the shelf. So I got this cut at a 45 degree angle in the front and just 90 degrees in the back. I got a dado joint or a slot cut into this little side here in order to keep the essential oils from, you know, falling off of the end. So it's a little stop here, a little catch. So the sides We'll go right next to where the front is. We've got this little front lip on here. That keeps essential oils from falling off of the, the front. And this little sideboard here is going to keep the essential oils from falling off of the side. I have another one here that goes on the opposite side of the shelf. When I, when I get this dried here, then I'll take remove these clamps and then I can clamp the back onto the, the shelf support here. So this little piece here is made out of oak. It'll be nice and strong. I have little gussets I made here as well. These little gussets, they'll be going underneath the shelf. So the back obviously will be going onto that. You, you can see again I have another rabbit joint, or I mean a dado joint in here. So this dado joint here will accommodate the back of the shelf. So these little holes are designed to just take a wall molly. Uh, they make several different sizes and shapes of wall mollies for various applications. Um, what I had in mind, what I like to use are two different types. One is obviously stronger than the other. I like these little screw-in kind that go right into the drywall. So you just took, take a Phillips head screw, put it in the end of your, uh, your driver or your, your uh, drill, and you just take and you just drill that into the sheetrock right where you want that anchor to be. So this little plastic goodie is another type of wall anchor, and you can see the slits in the side right there. This is a quarter inch drill bit, and it's just just barely smaller or just the right size of the uh, wall molly itself so you of course you just take the drill you drill that into the wall right where you want their your molly to be your screw then you take a hammer and you just lightly tap this into the drywall to where the hot top of this or the head of this here is flush with the drywall and then you just take your screw and you screw it inside the, uh, the plastic opening here and what the screw does when it goes in will expand this and stretch this out and hold that tight inside that hole that you drilled inside the sheetrock. These were gonna, are going to be uh, more than adequate to support this little shelf here. This molly here is stronger than the plastic one that I showed you. Here's a different kind and you can kind of see and appreciate how that opens up when you put a screw in there. And that'll stretch out and hold on to the inside of the sheetrock. Here's a couple of different styles of the little plastic uh, version of the plastic one that I showed you. See this one here has little ears that stick out on the side and keep that from coming back out of the sheetrock. You can see this one right here. What you'll do is you're going to drill a hole that this part here 
will accommodate, so maybe a half inch hole or three eighths or whatever that is. You drill a hole in the sheetrock, and you're gonna push this into the sheetrock, and these little wings are gonna pop back out again. These, these push into the sheetrock like that, and they come back like this, and this uh, screw goes all the way in and bottoms out to whatever depth that you want to hold on to place, like a plaque or something like that. You can, you can most certainly do that with this one here. I'll show you one more little uh, anchor, and that's this type here. So again, what you're going to do is you'll remove this screw, take it all the way out, and you'll, you'll drill a quarter inch hole for that to accommodate into the sheetrock. That goes into the sheetrock, and then as you tighten this up, tighten the screw up, these, this will expand, this right here. You can see where there's uh, slits in that. Well, this will expand to where the shape of it when you're done is going to be come this away, 90 degrees up, 90 degrees down, and then back to the sheetrock, and then this will be right up flush with the sheetrock. And you can see there's little teeth on, there's little teeth in here that will hold up tight next to sheetrock and keep your screw from turning the, uh, the anchor itself. I had this... Uh setting in the clamps for a little bit, a little while, maybe 20 minutes, and that is good enough to keep the, or to dry a little bit of the glue to keep this in place, so now I can remove the, the uh, little quick clamps. Now you can see uh, I've got a 45 on there, and that'll, that'll allow, accommodate for these little guys here to go on. These little side supports. So I'll glue those on next. So what I do is I just put a little glue in here. Not too much. And then I put a little bit of glue on here. On the, 40, on the part that's 45. I just wipe that with my finger a little bit. If you make your joints tight enough, you can just press these on and they'll hold in place. Now for bigger projects, obviously you probably wouldn't be able to do that. You need to clamp them using bar clamps. And then there's your 45 in there. And here's the top. Okay, so I'll do the other side. Okay, so when I get this dried out, I'll lightly sand this here and around that corner off just a little bit. Now I'm ready to adhere the back. It's a nice little bead of glue in there. And I'll put a couple little quick clamps on there to keep the, the back tight up against the uh, shelf itself. Okay, I can just set that on top of the bar clamps here, and what that allows me is some clearance on the bottom so this can set flat. Now, I want to put my little gussets in here. Now my gussets will verify whether or not that's a true square or not, and it is. So I got a couple of bar clamps here, and that allows me to set the project flat up against uh, a surface that the quick clamps won't interfere with and then what I can do is I can put I have these little gussets here uh, shelf supports that I can put up underneath here and that just adds a little bit of character to the project and it also uh, gives it a little bit more support so I add a little bit of glue to the points of contact where the, uh, the back will meet the bottom of the shelf 
and I just set that into place. Give it, press it down just a little bit to where it makes good contact. So the other gusset goes on the other side, obviously. Put glue on the contact points. And just set that into place. So now all I have to do is just let that dry and uh, we'll come back and take some sandpaper and finish out some corners, round off some corners here. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I've uh, put a little bit of Danish oil on the finished product and it's ready to install on the, the wall. You'll have, your, you'll have your screw in here. I just got that for an example. And then when you get done, you just put these little dowel plugs in and just tap those into place and that makes a decorative little dowel plug. That's all finished. I just like I let that Danish oil dry and it's going to be ready to hang. Well guys, I appreciate you stopping by and building this uh, little essential oil shelf with me. Now this could be several different things. If you want to put spices or anything like that on this little shelf in the kitchen or whatever you wanted to do with this, this is a multi-purpose little shelf here just for small bottles and such. Of course a guy can make this a multi-level deal if he wanted to by extending the board, making the board wider and then putting more shelves in here like this. Thanks for stopping by and take care and God bless.